Welcome to another Guaylao 60 video. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between hospitals, doctors, nurses in China as compared to Canada. Wei Fong's father got sick last night. Uh, heavy fever, high fever, just shaking and feeling pretty bad and he's not a spring chicken by any means. I'll put a clip in. And here he goes again now. This is a different spot, so we're going to have to keep an eye on this one. And so, or maybe two clips in. So, now look at what happened to this poor old man. His, his shoulder, he's got a big boob. <laughs> he's, he's got a big boob on his shoulder. And then, oh yeah, on his back. Oh, oh my goodness. Think, you think that helps? How bu hao? How? How? Bu tong? Of, of the old boy, so you know who I'm talking about as I'm going through this video. Anyway, about 10 o'clock last night, 9.30ish, he, uh, he got pretty, pretty sick and delirious and uh, high fever and so we took him to the number eight, number 8 Nanning Hospital, which is about five blocks away from our home. So, because he couldn't ride a bike and you don't call an ambulance here, uh, I put him on the back of Sam. So I'm driving Sam with the old guy on the back, weaving back and forth. He had to hang on or else he'd just fall off. Anyway, so we get him, we get him to the hospital and uh, they take him in and they give him uh, blood tests and urine tests and you know your your basic stuff and they said well he's got an infection he's got to stay in the hospital we've got to deal with this and, well, okay well so we we put him in the hospital so we take him up to the 16th floor and uh, the nurse is is doing the paperwork or not a nurse uh, an orderly was doing the paperwork with Wei Fong getting her signature on everything and her thumbprint with red ink because you have to make sure that somebody's going to pay the bill. So then she had to go put a deposit on uh, the old boy just so they know that they've got some money in the bank and uh, he's not going to get up, get better get up and run away. So anyway, he's still in the hospital today and it's, uh, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. So they took him in and, well, the, the orderly was doing the paperwork with Wei Fong. And this is, you know, and I see things in China that are different than Canada. And unless you make a video about it, you sort of forget about this stuff. And, you know, it's, uh, it's you know, but this took me a little bit by surprise. The, the, the orderly says to Wei Fong, well, somebody's going to stay with him tonight all night long because we don't have any nurses or we've got one nurse for the whole floor so somebody's got to stay with him just in case something goes wrong or he needs a drink of water he has to go to the bathroom yeah you know somebody's got to be there to to deal with him so he thought well you know what do we do I guess somebody's gonna st and then the orderly says we have IEs here IAs meaning auntie is the Chinese word for auntie. And there's these ladies that live in the hospital that they hire themselves out to be personal, I guess, nurses without nursing degrees. They take care of, like they step in for the family member that doesn't want to spend all night long there. So they've turned this into a business. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, that's a beer burp. Anyway, because I like beer. Beer is good. I'm Canadian. So, so we hire this lady for 160 RMB for 24 hours. Per 24 hours, however long it takes. So that would be about not even $30 Canadian for 24 hours. And she, get this, she washes his clothes she gets some drinks, she bathes him, she turns his bed up, she, she's there as his, I guess, be the same as having a personal assistant that takes care of every little whim you have and watches over the old boy if something goes wrong. 
uh, can call a doctor, nurse, whatever in because these ladies, they live in the hospital and they have free reign on the, on the hospital grounds and they know everybody so that's a good thing. So we hired this lady. Uh, not only does she do the laundry and all that other stuff, but she gets him the food from the cafeteria because they do have a cafeteria in the hospital. Well, breakfast is four RMB. That's not even a dollar. That's like 75, 77 cents Canadian. Dinner is nine RMB. That's not even two dollars. Supper is nine RMB. That's not even. So 22 RMB for meals, three meals in the hospital, which comes out to four bucks Canadian, four dollars Canadian. So he goes today for a CT scan and an ultrasound. Okay, well that's that's fine, and they've had him on a an intravenous drip with antibiotics and and uh, and fluids and stuff. So his fe fever's broken today, but they still, you know, they, we got to find out what's wrong with the old guy because tomorrow or the next day the fever could come back. So you know, might as well fix it. CT scan, six hundred RMB. So like, you're talking a hundred and twenty dollars Canadian for a CT scan. I didn't even ask what the ultrasound cost because if a CT scan is only 600 RMB, I don't care what the ultrasound is. So the difference between, and this is a brand new hospital, it was built in 2013-2014. They, yeah, they stuck it up in a year. Uh, the reason why I know this is Wei Feng's mother died at the same hospital in 2011. and. The smaller hospital was turned, when they built the bigger hospital, the new hospital, the smaller hospital was turned into a daycare for children. So where people used to go to die, and this, this is the place where people used to go to die, was turned into something good. Kudos to them. Anyway, so the difference in Canada, you go to the doctor. You're, you go to the hospital, you go to the doctor, you go to the hospital, emergency, whatever. Well, they cater to you. It doesn't cost you a penny when you're in the hospital. You go into the hospital, the nurses dote over you, they feed you, they, they give you your CT scans, they give you your ultrasounds, they x-ray you up one side and down the other, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Not one penny. Well, we don't have pennies in Canada. It doesn't cost you one nickel. Anyway, so if you don't have money in China and you get sick, you're in, you're in trouble because there is no free health care here in China. Where I'm used to free health care in Canada, so it's a little bit of an eye-opener. And then there's nobody there to feed the old guy when he's hungry. There's nobody there to watch over him when he's not feeling well or if something goes wrong in the hospital you have to hire your own auntie to do this well this is this is yeah this is a different different world that we're living in in China but when you consider that things are so much less expensive here i'm not sure whether it's a good thing or a bad thing when you, you just think the tax dollars and the and the outlay of cash from society in a in a whole compared to the small dollars that are charged in China, whether the health care is better in Canada than it is in China, well, that depends on which hospital you're in. The number one hospital, I've been there before, and they are very professional. The number eight hospital, you know, it's a local hospital here. It's not as professional, but it's still pretty good. So anyway, these, these are some of the differences that I've seen over the last day from having to deal with this stuff with, with Wei Fong's father. As I say, I'm going to put some of his pictures in here or little videos of him doing weird things. So you gauge how old he is. I don't know. Uh, uh, there's his clock. Four o'clock, as I said. Anyway, so you gauge how old he is. Anyway, if you like this video or don't like this video, let me know. Subscribe. Like comment. Let me know what I'm doing right or what I'm doing wrong. Anyway, this is Guaylao60. Thanks for watching. Next time.